Et howl in time. Welcome everyone to it howling time with the howling wolf. Here going to give you my selections for June 6, 2019. The track that I'm going to do it is Churchill Downs. It is going to be race number 1 going 5 furlongs for allowance $97,000. We had a field of 7 but there was a scratch of the number 2 the first time starter hardcore which leaves us with a field of six. I'm going to be giving you my two top selections plus my horse to watch. But I'm going to be doing it in reverse. So my horse to watch is going to be the number one, Megan Marie at Maury Line Odds at 6-1. to one. Is by Clubhouse Ride out of a All the Power Mare. Last time ran on May 21st at Indiana Grand on a muddy surface going five furlongs for a maiden special weight $31,000. Came in fifth by five and a quarter lengths. Had a good bid all the way through and around that turn to get down towards the stretch to get that nice win and spreading out as the race went a little longer. The time before that, it ran on May 1st at Indiana Grand, going four and a half furlongs for a maiden special weight, $31,000. Did the same thing, stayed and had out, just was out in there playing like the second area, so was getting up in there, just got tired out, with the sh- it was a shorter race, so I think that that was the issue with that race. The times that it worked out was on April 19th at Indiana Grand going three furlongs on a muddy surface. Did it in 38.20 seconds. Breezing was the best at the two workouts that day. The time after that it worked out on April 25th at Indiana Grand going four furlongs on a fast track. They did it in 50.60 seconds. Breezing was the 10th best out of the 16 workouts that day. What I see here with this one, if it's a nice fast track, you see see the jockey getting her into position well. Actually, he knows her, so he knows how to get her into the right position very well. It's just a step up in class, but knows how to get this horse into position well. The workouts have seen that it 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 was just getting a freshening up. So you'll just see me this one coming up, possibly going out there fast around the turn. It should be getting right up there, making that try to make that great late kick that it ha- that she has to get her into that winning position. So my horse to watch in race number one at Churchill Downs. It is the number one, Megan Marie at Morning Line Odds at six to one. For my second choice, I'm going to be going with the number three, Modesta de Oro, at Mori Line Odds at three at five to one. It is by Moonings out of a strong contender mare. The only time that it ran was back on April 23rd, going four and a half furlongs at Indiana Grand. Ran it at and for maiden special weight thirty one thousand won that race by three quarters of a length. Veered inside, circled around and cleared and held off that wind well. Was up around there, getting it kicked and held on was getting tired but held on well to get that win. Times that it worked out was on April 17th at Indiana Grand did four furlongs and 48.60 seconds. Breezing Gallop was the 10th best out of the 30 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on June 2nd doing four furlongs and 52.40 seconds. Breezing was the 15th best out of the 16 workouts that day. Shows that it has the abilities keeping Marcelino Pedroza aboard. is staying aboard. Knows how to get this horse into position well. The trainer 
jockey combinations at 15% click. At the distance, the trainer is at a 15% click. So it should know how to get this horse. It might like this. It will not get this one. Should not need to get that fast pace up fast. Try to be the pace setter. So you see this one just relaxing just a bit until that turn to get that great late kick that it has. And you'll see this one spreading out hard. So my second choice in race number one, it is the number three, Merlerso de Oro at Moriland Odds at 5-1. to one. Now for my top selection, it is going to be the number four, Jamming Cameron. Jamming Cameron is at Moriland Odds is at 6-1. to one. It is by Oxbow out of a splendid a split town, split town mare. Sorry for my announcement. Dry throat. The last time ran on May 25th, the four furlongs for a maiden special weight $31,000. Was up in there to get, stay up in there to get, stay for the lead and get in the win by a head. Drifted a bit, two parts out, and just held on for that. Getting caught up. And then the last time before that, it did it on May 11th at Indiana Grand on the turf. Five furlongs and made in special weight $31,000. Was able to get fourth there by six and three quarters lengths. Was up in there for the race. Just got tired out and weakened. Got passed by Nano and Slap Happy and even Baja Channel. The workouts have been on April 23rd at a training track at three furlongs. Did it in 37.20 seconds breezing. Was the eighth best out of the 19 workouts that day. Then the last workout was on May 1st. At the training track, going four furlongs, did that in 48.60 seconds, breezing, was the best out of the 20 workouts that day. What I'm seeing here with this one, it gave a great win. You were going to have that heavy favorite, which is going to be the number five, Alec and Arthur. It has the class, but with this one, jammy one, it's going up in class. But should show that it has the ability to get this win. If it doesn't tire out, let some one of the other ones, the speed um, pace setter, get up there fast. But not too fast because they'll need it, need it for that great late kick that she has. That he has, sorry. So for this one. It just needs to to get that great late kick late. It's been improving each race, especially at the system. But the up in class is the only issue with this one. But I think it may show some great potential at a great price. So again, for my top selection and Churchill Downs race number one, it is going to be the number four, Jamming Cameron at Morning Line Odds at 6-1. to one. And remember, when you're cashing with the wolf, it's how willing time. Good luck, everyone, and let's cash in those tickets. Hope everyone has a great day with the races today.